Hey guys, Garrett 97 again, this time in front of the camera again. But first of all, to all of you, a very happy new year and all of the best wishes. Uh, good health, lots of Gunpla, other Gundam related things, and whatever else you're into collecting. Then let's look back at this year, and man, it was one hell of a year. In the beginning of the year, I said that, well, it's going to be a very retro year for me, and partially it was exactly that. We had, man, a shit, a shitload of restocks. I mean, hell, what are we building right now? Cluster Gundam, and well, we got restocks of the F90 series, uh, solid formula F91. Uh, the normal F91 series, we got Victory Gundam, completely unexpected, and so many other restocks we had. Uh, I think even the old Zeta guns got restocked. Uh, the 160 scales got restocked. Pretty much this year was the year of the restocks. Oh yeah, even Turn A Gundam got restocked. And, well, also completed one of those recently. So, um, that means that for my resolutions, well, um, let's get into that <clears throat> later on. First of all, this year, so it was a very retro year, including retro gaming. I mean, <laughs> Gundam F91 just pulled that out of the old Famicom. I'm gonna say it's a really fun game, so yeah, like I said, a very retro year, from, but also a very <clears throat> perhaps also modern year. <laughs> Didn't expect to buy a PS Vita at all. But I gotta say, overall, it was an extremely good year. And hey, it was quite. Well, very bipolar, buying these two at the same time, or a new smartphone. <laughs> well, a lot of things happened. But then let's have a look at uh, resolutions, or no wait, Gumpla predictions. I wrote them all down here on my PC, so Gumpla predictions. I was pretty spot on, I'd have to say. We have the first prediction I made, um, the high mobility type Zaku 2 Johnny Raiden version, 144 high grade universal century. Correct. Then, the real great Strike Freedom as my second choice. Correct. Then the third one, 144 scale Dagger or Windam, or pretty much one of the grunts from the Gundam Sea Destiny, didn't happen. Seriously, I was almost positive they finally released a Dagger, or at least a Windam. I mean, one of the main one of the main characters pilots the Windam in a series. Why not? Well, this is probably still going to be one of my predictions for 2014 then. And then the fourth one, well, it doesn't really count because I consider it as, as like a wild card, something I would really like to happen and something that maybe could have happened. The Monster's Great Leo, well, I wasn't holding my hopes up. I don't think you guys were either. And as expected, didn't happen at all. And then let's have a look at my resolutions now. Um, maybe I'd rather not. Number one, watch all the Gundam series. Well, I did watch Turn A Gundam. I am currently kind of watching Gundam Age and I didn't watch G Savior at all. As far as Turn A goes, it was a good series. It wasn't great, not nearly as good as everyone seems to make it out to be. I mean, the funny thing about Turn A Gundam is, in my opinion, it's both overrated but also seriously underrated underrated because not nearly enough people have seen it in my opinion but also overrated because it seems that everyone who has seen it seems to absolutely love it i mean i really don't get it um yes it's a good series but no it is by far not a great series in my opinion um like a seven or an eight out of ten or something not nearly as good as some of the other series um not nearly as good as zeta gundam gundam x uh, whatever all whatever other series uh, pretty much, I. The one thing that really bugged me were some of the characters, character design. Yes, my main problem with this wasn't the mobile suit design. It was something that really didn't bother me at all. That seems to be like the one thing people get, get at when they're talking about turn a gun and uh, the mobile suit had the mustache. Yeah, so what? People have mustaches too. Some people have beards. Some people have mustaches. Get over it. Um, seriously, character design and the way some of the characters act is oh, no, no, no. I mean, we have space hippies, we have a mentally challenged pilot, and I'm not even saying that to be funny, he literally has brain damage, um, because, 
uh, the f something went wrong in the freezing process, because yeah, people are pretty advanced, but not advanced enough to prevent people from getting brain damage. Yes, and it's sufficient to say that it's quite noticeable that the dude has mental issues. And yeah, so many characters have really bothered me, dragged down the series tremendously. It's like, they're trying to be serious, but then they're throwing these ridiculous characters at you that really makes it hard to take this series serious as a whole. Then, Gundam Age, I said I'm trying to watch it because, yeah, every few episodes I watch, I gotta take a break. Um, a lot of people got at it when it uh, was airing, well, even before it aired, but I gotta say, <laughs> even though I wasn't one of those people who was going out saying Gundam Age sucked without having watched it, I can now honestly say that Gundam Age is really grinding my nerves and I've only seen eight fucking episodes. Then resolution number two, collect all the gems and, well, collect all 144 scale gems, that is as good as done, actually, I only need one more 144 scale gym, excluding any resin kits, of course, and that is the old 144 scale gym command uh, ground type. And, well, that's not my fault, because it's still on back or at HLJ, so when that comes back in stock, I will have all of the 144 scale gyms, including the old ones, all of them. Then, of course, one more hurt scales, that's going to be a resolution for this year. Collect all Mayrin figurines was number three. Uh, once again, I've looked high and low, and I'm one short. One that cannot be found anywhere. It is the Zodiac collection figure, where they have all uh, characters from Gundam Seed acting out as uh, various signs of the Zodiac. I'm not exactly sure which sign Mayrin is, but I'm going to guess that she's twin. <laughs> um, call me crazy. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm doing pretty good with my collection. Kinda like Marin a little bit. I mean, it's not like I've got figures hanging around her all over the place. Um, yeah, so that's going to once again be a resolution for 2013. Uh, 2014, I mean. Um, finishing that up. That's probably going to be pretty easy, but it's really going to depend on if I find something. I'm... Well, I have this, uh, the search saved on eBay, so once it comes onto eBay, I should be able to find it. I mean, I've bookmarked uh, Zodiac, Marin, Gundam. Should get it sometime next year, I hope. Then number four, make at least one custom and one custom paint job. Well, custom paint job Technically, I did it when we were counting the HLJ playing with Plamo competition. Um, standing right over there, but according to competition rules, I cannot show him. Um, make one custom? Well, it's being worked on. That was also supposed to be for the competition, but I soon realized, well, making a custom kind of takes a little bit of time. Just a little bit. Um, yeah, I simply decided, fuck this shit, I'm gonna make the easy 8 then number five, um, one video every week. Well, um, when we look at the overall picture and you look at the amount of videos I made in the amount of time it took them to make, I technically made one video every week when we look at an average something. Yeah, I totally bombed that one, didn't I? <clears throat> Moving on. Oh yeah, the... One special gym thing. Well, you know, we didn't have time to make the custom, so I didn't have time for that either. But I'm really planning on finishing that special project. I'm just gonna say the same thing as last year. When it's up, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's just something that shows that I'm completely crazy about gyms. You'll see it when... Well, you'll know it when you see it. It's pretty catchy. Then number seven, catch all 151 Pokemons. I completely completed that. Actually pretty early on in the year, I think, and actually I'm getting quite close to getting all 251. Well, 250 that is. I just gotta catch Suicune, no, not Suicune, uh, Entei and Celebi, but Celebi isn't catchable in the game really without having a cheat, so I'm probably gonna have to. And what better way to end the video than with a jump cut because the time ran out. Well, that's all for this video. See you guys next time. I'll probably upload a review of... Let's see... Probably... Yeah, the Gunnies next up. And then 
is gonna be the New Year's resolutions for 2014. 14. More resolutions I probably will not complete even though I think that I will be absolutely able to complete them. Come to think of it, uh, maybe I should pick some resolutions that I don't actually want to do, because then I won't do them, and then I will have enough time for the things I actually want to do. Isn't that a great idea for New Year's resolutions? Picking things you don't want to do, because you know you won't complete them anyways. Stuff to think about at the end of a video. Well, see you guys next time.